what's going on guys it's your boy Siobhan here back with a brand new jailbreak video and in this video guys I'm going to show you the top 10 best iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak tweaks so without any further ado guys let's get started Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to show you this tweak on the lock screen called lock droid. So for example, if I swipe up, if I swipe up guys and I go to my password, now you can see that I have an Android style lock. So it's very simple. Mine is just an S, just like that. If you're going to settings, I'll show you the tweak. Lock droid right here. You can choose different size, like the matrix size. And everything like that draw a new password if you want to it's pretty cool and I like it next up guys you have spring plus 11 now spring plus 11 reminds me of this old tweet called spring to my 3 so for example you can see my bounce effect right here that's all because of spring plus you can change a lot of things in the UI it's on, as I said before, it's almost like Spring to My 3. You could change lock screen, springboard. You could completely hide everything in the status bar. You could hide the signals. You could hide the carrier, hide the data, hide the airplane mode. A anything possible, think of. You could hide it. You could hide the battery icon. So let's let's do a respring real quick to see if that works. So I'll just go ahead and respring it, and then we'll see if it hides the status bar. Okay guys, so after a fresh respring, we could see that it it hid the Wi-Fi signals, it hid the carrier and everything, but it still has the battery percentage. I'm not sure if it's because I have a tweak enabled called battery percent X that keeps it there or it just couldn't hide it in general. But yeah, that's spring plus 11. Tons of more settings in the tweak panel that you could go ahead and figure out by yourself. Next up guys, we have hide bar X. So normally on an iPhone 10, we would have a home button down here that shows us that, hey, this is a button you could swipe up to go home. But as you can see, it's not there anymore. Um, I think it was pointless. I don't know why Apple had it there. But hide bar X simply just removes that little underline icon down here. That's normally everywhere on the screen that shows you, hey, this is a button you could swipe home. Next up, guys, we have Wi-Fi passwords. Now this is one of my favorite tweaks because for example if you connect to any Wi-Fi anywhere or your friend doesn't want you to let, his, let you know his home Wi-Fi, you could just download this tweak and any Wi-Fi that you connect to, it will, the password will just be there. Now this is one of the Wi-Fi's I, I connected to, I only connected to two Wi-Fi so far guys because I had a fresh restore but you get the example, this is the password for that Wi-Fi router, for this Wi-Fi router, that's the password clearly a Lakers fan so yeah that's pretty cool wi-fi passwords one of my favorite apps next up guys another one that no one really talks about is snapper 2 i featured this one in my what's on my jailbroken iphone but i think i need to put it in this video because i really want a lot of people to know about this tweet because it's so cool so for example if you take a screenshot you can highlight what you want in that screenshot so if you want to highlight just this icon right here double tap that and then it will be there forever you could keep it on your screen but the best way to use it is for example someone sent you a number or you want to keep a note on your screen anything like that you could now delete it save it to your photos or share you could share it to twitter any social media pretty cool now if you're wondering so how do you take a normal screenshot you press the screenshot button hit it again and as you can see it's stored to your um stored to your wallpaper right here so that's pretty cool permanently delete yep next up guys we have color picker app now this is for anyone that's really serious about picking the right colors getting the right colors to make sure your theme is nice and you need those color codes so this is from the june's iphone reaper guys if you already watched my previous video i spoke about june's iphone repo if you do not have the repo it's just it will be linked down below and you could use my discount code SHEVI7 
to get 50% off. And if you guys, once you get this repo, you'll get all of these apps that I'm talking about. So here's the color picker app. Now, the reason why I like this one so much is because it gives you the exact color of anything. So if you have a wallpaper and you want to make your widgets the same as the wallpaper, for example, let's get this. You could see that I could choose whatever color I want and then it would give me the color codes down here and also the RGBA code. So if you want to copy that color code, for example, let's change it to blue. Exact color code, guys. You, you can see as soon as I change it, you, you can see the color codes changing down here. So just touch that. You can see it says copy to clipboard. And for example, if I go here and paste it, you can see that I have that exact color code. Now, that's really important if you're very detailed about having the right themes and color schemes and everything like that. Next up, guys, we have type status 2. Ah, I wish I had a phone to show you guys how this works. So basically, it shows you whoever is type if you're speaking to someone in iMessage and they're typing while you're on the home screen or something like that would come up up here saying blah 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 is typing Jennifer is typing so it give you a heads up that a message is coming soon so yeah let's show you the settings for this tweak though guys if you go into settings tweaks type status 2 here you can see everything about it so that's pretty cool type status plus let's see all right for example you can see they said read the guy read it he could show you that the person is typing you get alerts on your apple watch as well so i think it's really useful for anyone that wants to know if someone is typing if you go into alerts here's all the settings that you could choose so Definitely a great tweak type status too. one of those new tweaks that just got updated as well. So yeah Okay, guys, so the next tweak we have for you. It's called fake GPS pro Well, I have the free version. So it's gonna be fake GPS light the difference between the paid and the free version is that The paid version you could travel anywhere around the world the free version you could just travel like say a couple It's not like not far from your hometown. So basically you could change up your location so if you right now i'm in brampton i could change it to toronto mississauga switch up my location so if you want to trick your friends that you're somewhere else so for example right here you could see that i'm in brampton right all right let me close snapchat real quick guys and going to fake gps you need to close the app first going to fake gps so we want to go to say toronto Place it on the map, hit play. Okay, now you want to open back Snapchat. As I said before, guys, this is the free version. If you want to go to like LA, Jamaica, you need to buy it because that's further from your home, like wherever you live. So I live, I'm in Brampton now. I change it to Toronto. And as you can see, you can see the Toronto geotags right there. Toronto, downtown Toronto up here. So yeah. You get the gist guys pretty cool tweak if you want to trick your friends that you're somewhere that you're not really at next up guys we have one of the most important tweaks that i always install and it's called catch a thief so basically if someone is on your lock screen and they enter the passcode wrong so let me just try to enter my passcode all right so that's wrong that's wrong let's try to do it like it's gonna be a black screen right all right so i think my face got caught in that one guys so let's open this now the thing is you'd have to have files in order to find these pictures so just download files it's free in Syria. so you want to go in files then you want to go in let's start from the front so you want to go in var in files you want to go in var then mobile var mobile 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 and then you could see catch a thief right here so this is the one that i i had <laughs> pretty funny so these were was where all the pictures will be saved if someone is trying to enter your passcode and you know probably a girlfriend or somebody like that and you just want to see if they actually tried to go into your phone 
but as you can see guys it didn't work because i had the android lock on so i'm gonna turn off the android lock and see if that works disable all right all right so let's see if we could get this guys all right so i'm gonna enter my passcode incorrectly let's enter my passcode incorrectly again now let's actually enter my passcode or use face id yeah let's actually enter my passcode now let's go back into filesa to see if it actually got the thief so let's go into filesa right here refresh oh there we go so here you can see the pictures of me <laughs> Imagine you can see your girlfriend right here, guys, trying to break into your phone. You'll be like, Bae, did you try to enter my passcode? And she'll be like, no, just show her the receipts. Simple. <laughs> show her the receipts, guys. Now, I have some bonus tweaks for you guys. That was 10 tweaks, but don't worry. I have some bonus ones. And this one is called Bar Emoji. So if you look down here, you could see all my recent emojis. Don't judge me. But yeah, these are all my recent emojis. That's because of bar emoji. And another bonus one is called picture in picture. So basically, if you're on YouTube, let's go to YouTube, guys. All right, guys. So if you look right here, you can see that it's a picture in picture icon on the top. That's what you need to press. If you hit that, you can see that we could be watching this while browsing on our devices, which is so cool. You could resize it. To whatever size you want and i just think that's pretty cool to be honest i wish it worked with the youtube app but it doesn't so i guess we have to live with this one you could enlarge it put it there put it up the top you know you could be on twitter it's on the side right now pull it out push it back super sick guys i really like this tweak so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it so much awesome tweaks more will be on the way and yeah as always guys love wait if you made it this far hashtag hashtag monster down below in the comment section guys hashtag monster down below in the comment section let's try to hit 500 likes on this video guys let's try to smash 500 likes and as always guys remember love Peace and tweaks. Signing out.